doing tonight, everybody? Bless, All right. Let the Lord use you. Amen. We thank God for this holy tonight, don't we? Yes, sir. Amen. He will take care of you. Of you. Can I get someone to give us our opening prayer tonight? Most of the Father, Lord, we come before you, O oh God, Lord, just to say thank you, O oh God. Father, we thank you right now for this unity, O oh Heavenly Father. Father, we thank you right now for assembling together in your house, O oh Heavenly Father. Lord, to build up your kingdom, O oh Heavenly Father. Lord, as we study tonight, O oh Heavenly Father, let us be challenged, charged, and changed. And let us not leave the same way that we came in, O oh God. In your precious Son, Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. 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 We're excited about tonight. This is going to start a short series on a familiar topic that's not spoken about a lot. <laughs> um, you, didn't, you got your copy? No. I'm sorry, right there when you walk in. Amen. <laughs> yes. Anyone needs a copy, please. Yeah. Gather one. Amen. So tonight we're going to talk about tithing more than money. Amen? Amen. And if you could describe it in your own words, what would you call or describe tithing to be? Okay, relationship. Okay. Obedience. Mm -hmm. Giving of yourself. Okay. Available. Being available. Okay, yeah. yes. Law. What was that? The law. The law. That's right. That's right. <laughs> we all should obey the law, right? Accountability. Accountability. Yes. So let's look at our handouts tonight. It says tithing is one subject talked about the most and the least in church. Wow. Would you not agree? Yes. Yes. Why is that? Because we need it the most. But, we, but it's the hardest thing for people. Okay. Well, I, I think just from a leadership standpoint, sometimes I know it's hard to talk about money because you don't want people to think that's all you're right. thinking about or talking about. But it's necessary, so you have to throw it out right. there. Right. And then you got the people on the other end, oh, all they do is talk about money. Right. Try that's to get it. money and try that's to it. That, that. But it's necessary to run the ministry. Right. And, and so, but that's why I think. Okay. Anyone else? I think sometimes um, it's least talked about because People don't really understand it, or they don't have a good understanding of it. Okay. Okay. Blessings and curses of not. Blessings and curses of not. Okay. You did that really, really fast. Slow down. I want to make sure about here. A little louder. What was that? Blessings and curses in tithe. And you can be blessed, and you can be cursed in outside because you can have a stronghold over your life just because with that, just not tithing. Not giving God what's due to him, he can be, you know, it's blessings and curses. Okay. Okay. You had something? Sorry. No. Well, understanding it more and more as as we get along in, in, in Christ. I remember him pastor doing it before and um it's not always money. It's not. And right. like what you guys mentioned was the accountability part and I know just me before I met my husband, whatever I lost I gained it quickly. Mm -hmm. Lose a job within a week, I had a job. Mm -hmm. 
who lost a home. Within a week, I got a home. Mm -hmm. Cars. And for every car I lost, it was a greater car got gained. Wow. Amen. Greater car gained. Yeah. Um, he would walk over to yeah. the car and you say, oh, make sure you ain't gonna have this. <laughs> and I'll be doggone next year I didn't. Mm -hmm. So I, just by giving, by being available, like you said, mm -hmm. and I was available whenever, mm -hmm. you know, being accountable, being, re you know, reliable and responsible and giving, giving, giving it all. So, I'm so a, I can attest to it. Okay, so what would you deem to be the challenge <laughs> to us giving? What 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 even of our time, of our resources? What 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 is the challenge? Why why do we chat? Why are we battling with that so much? I believe it's a relationship. Wholeheartedly, when you tune in to what God has you to do, and you tune into the relationship with God, He's going to put it into your heart. But I'm a deacon in the church. <laughs> <laughs> Just get your hand out there, brother. Get your hand out. Hey, turn back right around. Get your hand out. So we, everybody learns it here. Amen. Amen. Right? Amen. Huh? Amen. Well, but I'm 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 a social mm. minister Amen. at my church. But it, I, 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 it's a personal relationship. I, I'm ordained. I'm, I'm, I'm connected. Mm -hmm. I'm respected. Mm -hmm. Why? Are connected? you truly connected, though? If you're Ooh. not connecting into the ministry? Ooh. Okay, okay. Explain. Mm -hmm. you, you can't say that you're connected and involved with something that you don't put into it. Mm -hmm. That's like my business. I say I'm. That, that's my business. But if I don't put anything into it, I'm not gonna get anything out of it. You know what the problem with most of us are? We believe we already know what the answers are. Oops. Oh. We do. In our own mind. Mm -hmm. We believe because we dibbled and dabbled somewhere along the earth, we come with a limited mindset to really learn. Right. Mm. We really do. Mm -hmm. And so what happens is, I begin to build my own portfolio. Of what I think should be going on. Wow. And before I know it, it's the gospel. <laughs> and let me find two or three not gathered in his name. To agree with me. To agree with me. <laughs> Take for instance, how many of you all took advantage of having folders to come to Bible study with? I didn't bring it in. We had some I some in the back. <laughs> I, I do have I mean how many have how many are recording? How many have a recording opportunity? I mean, have something on that they can record, whether by phone or, yeah. yeah. See, and, and this is not to pick anybody out, but I want to I open your mindset. One of the worst things to do is go to a place where there's training and yeah. not be prepared to learn from training. Yep. Because what that tells you and tells God is, I already know. Right? Right. So when we get to this subject here, this is why this is such a, I don't know why it is, touchy subject. Let me ask you something. How many ever heard of a squawk chair? Squawk chair. S Q A S Q U A C K. Squawk chair. How many have heard of it? Google it for me, Farrah. Tell me what a squawk channel is. Squawk channel. I think that's like um, in the morning there's a one. Joe and somebody, I forgot the name. But I think I know what you're talking about. Squawk. Squawk channel. Squawk box, I think it's called. You, uh, I forgot the people. Squat Champ. A business news television program that airs from 6 to 9 a.m. Yeah. Okay. Let's see what it talks about. Finances. Stock markets. Local and abroad. That's 24 hours a day. Oh. All it talks about <laughs> is finances. So how is it that I, or anyone who has an interest in the stock market, can sit and watch that for 30 minutes, but not give 10 minutes on time? <laughs> can I go further than that? Mm -hmm.
Alright, you ready for this? Tithing <coughs> requires faith, does it not? Yeah. It does. However, what I do is I take my faith wow. because I know between January and July, what happens? <laughs> what happens in tax season? Y'all look like y'all never heard of this information before. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't ever get anybody back. But <laughs> for, for the, for the, for the <laughs> indulge me. Yes. What happens between January and July? Get some money. It's further than that. Come for that. But what, what generally happens around that time? Income tax. And what, what, what are you giving or receiving at during that time? You're doing a little bit of both, but right. you ain't even think about just giving the both because you're too busy doing what? Receiving. <laughs> Waiting on it to show up, right? How do I have a faith that I'm going to get this, but not have a faith here that I do all year long? Y'all look like y'all ain't never heard of Am I offending y'all? Am I offending you? Just raise your hand and say, no, no, I'm disrespectful and you're talking about stuff that's inappropriate. No. How? I, I, I do this all year long, right? So I, Because I'm doing this all year long anyway, right? I don't even see that, right? How many of y'all go and look at every pay stub to see if they got exactly what they're supposed to take out? So where's your faith? Y'all trust the government. Yo, wait a minute. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> Ted Cam, you ain't y'all. Y'all yes. trust y'all bosses <laughs> in the finance department. If you a manager, you trust DD, right? D and D to take out exactly what they're supposed to take out, correct? I don't trust. You go back and look. I look. He don't go back I and look. look. You don't understand English. Your wife got to talk for you. It's okay. You can speak. Oh, well, you're not saying anything. I'm not hearing your voice. All right. I'm, I'm, I got these things on the back of my head. It's kind of hard to read and hear. So, y'all, I know this is a touchy subject. Y'all don't want to talk about it. I get it. I'm not people online want to hear it. Help somebody. How do I go all year long and teach you? Do you go back to school board and check one time? <laughs> no, it's a numbers right up, but you don't check the taxes, right? That's good. For that's good. But this is terrible because you say we have more faith in man than we do in God. There, there, there you go. That's it, right there. That's what we're saying tonight. Right. Say again? It's the same as the Powerball. Because a lot of people buy tickets because they. Well, they have a belief that what? That there's a chance they can win, right? But what, what, what's really, I guess. <coughs> Mind boggling? Yeah, let's go there. It's how my faith is here all year long when I'm doing the same thing here in a God I say I love. Who I know loves me. Right. But these people don't have to love you for you to come to work, Sam. Oh no, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe, maybe y'all jobs built off love. I don't know. Maybe, <laughs> where you, maybe where you work, they your love determines how long, how much you get. I don't know. Maybe diet. Maybe where you work. Maybe. Can okay, maybe. Nah. How is it that I don't worry about what's taken from me here all year long? When I know where it's coming from, and I come here and I struggle. I want to learn tonight. Y'all want to help me learn? Yes. Y'all yeah. <laughs> real quiet. It's a wonderful oh, fight for the next week. It's okay, though. First lady watching tonight. So. That's good. He says, tithing is one subject talked about the most and the least in church. All who have visited a worship place in their life were exposed to the tithing process, you know, one way or another, with little to no understanding on what is tithe or why should I give. Right. How much should I give? Let us agree that tithing is a commandment from God. 
However, it is not limited to just the form of currency or money, but also in the role of service, behavior, and obedience. Can we not agree on that? Amen. Because those are the components you need to give. If you stop and think about it, right? Right. To truly be able to give uh, in the sense we're talking about, I need to have service, I need to have a behavior of it, which means that's repeated, repetitive, right? right. And then I have to be obedient in why I do it, right? But here's the kick. If y'all remember nothing else I say for the next few weeks, never forget that tithing is not about giving, yet it is about what? Value. Why is it about value? Why? 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 Because it's easy to give something if you don't care nothing about it. Right? Oh my God, Doc. You just walked in. Don't do this. You're, you're jumping ahead. You're right on track. <laughs> How many times do we frivolously just give away stuff and don't even think about it? Right. Because why? It holds no value. Ha! How dare you say that in public? <laughs> huh? Good. When you walk by the corner store, you see old Bo Willie sitting out there on the corner and say, can I get a dollar? You don't think about that dollar until you ain't got but that dollar. <laughs> now that dollar, which was worth a dollar, means more value. Means, means worth a hundred dollars now. Come on, help somebody. <laughs> okay, let's go back again. We talked about the squat chair. Every morning at 9 a.m., what happens? The In the financial world. Right. And it opens to tell you what? What you can buy. It, tell, it goes to tell you what? The value. That same dollar, Rick, you pull out your pocket yeah. on Monday. Right. Put it back. Didn't use it. Is that not the same serial number dollar on Tuesday? Yeah. yeah. So what changes? The value. That's true. That's true. So the same prayer you give on Tuesday. God, help us, Father. When you was all good, everything was working the way you wanted to work, and then on Thursday when you and Sam was kind of, Because <laughs> we all got there, right? Right. I mean, if y'all don't have it in your house, everything's yeah. peaceful all the time. Okay, no, come, on, come on, come on, come on. Right? Come on. Man. What changes the prayer? The situation. I said the same thing. No, what changes my prayer? <laughs> what changes my praise? Go ahead, God. You got more to lose. Mm. Explain. So, if everything is going good, your prayer might sound a little shallow. Like, I thank the Lord for the day, and thank you, God, for waking me up. But then when you are really going through something, that prayer is a little different. That's more of a... Oh, you pleading with God. Getting right? ahead. Are you? Yes. Yes. Because I'm in dire need now. My spirit ain't right. Now. Are you pleading because you value or are you pleading because you know God will get you out of it? Oh, Both. Good. But but I understand that I can't just come to God with that shout of prayer no more. My prayer has to have value to, me, to God for wow. me to even answer. Uh -huh. That's good. Uh -huh. That's good. Are y'all hearing me tonight? Are y'all yeah. hearing what's being said tonight? Yeah. Maybe it's not your prayer that's wrong. Maybe you said all the right things. Mm. Right? Maybe you bring bringing all that to the table the way God would have it to be brought. Except what? Giving. You're not valuing what you're praying about. That's deep. Wow. You don't value what you're praising God about. You're not valuing what you worship God for. Wow. Does it make sense tonight? Yes, yes sir. sir. So no matter how much, least or most you bring to the basket, if you don't value what you're doing and why you're doing it, why do it? Two scriptures I live by on a daily basis. I don't live by all of them as best I can. But I know two I don't play with. One, God is not my <coughs> I'm going to tell you quick, don't play with the Lord. Does it make sense tonight? Yeah. Run around here, do whatever you want, say whatever you want. Yeah. Remember what he said, be careful, baby. Be careful. Right? Yep. The second one is, better to not take a vow. Mm -hmm. You break it. Okay, y'all. 
Y'all real quiet. Now, we're going to get home anyway, though. Don't take a vow Jesus. and break it. Jesus. Right? Help us, Reverend. Simply because you don't see the value in it or you don't like what's being said or done while you're in whatever you is the vow you took. What am I saying? Here's what you're seeing in today's world. The, the, the average, everyday run-of-the-mill Christian now has no spiritual value. Mm. Personal value. Yes. Religious value. But they battle with spiritual value. Because spiritual values belong to God. Come on. Religious values get you three credits at UCL. Right. Wow. Am I making sense tonight? Yes. yes, sir. So when you go into talking about tithing more than money, if I'm paying more taxes than tithing, I'm wrong. Oh, wow. <laughs> that means I value more to what I'm doing for myself, to the government. They said Jesus was out there one day standing in the park, I'm paraphrasing, but really the park, might have been in front of Burger King, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Guy walked over, had a quarter, said, look, man, talk to, you know, what's up with this time? Let's go and get him. He said, whose face is on the phone? Come on, help somebody tonight. He said, Caesar. He said, well, render unto Caesar what is Caesar, and unto God what is God. Yeah. Well, who would be your modern-day Caesar now? Ah, yes. Yeah. That's your favorite, yeah. right? Because if you don't if you don't give it up, what they do? Let me help y'all with something. I'm sorry. That's your son? Okay. Birth and brought him in the world. Name on birth certificate, you his mom. But do you know at any time the government can take him? Oh yeah. If they feel that she is not <laughs> so I thought that was her child. Yeah. Yeah. Help somebody. <laughs> Am I making sense tonight? Yeah. Yeah. So she has to value what God has given her in her parenting so that man can stay out of it. Y'all not catching this. <laughs> So if I value God in my giving, uh -huh. man can't tell me. So the challenge we got to start doing is educating ourselves mm. for ourselves and for our generations to come. Yes. You ever hear that was saying? If I knew then what I know now. No. Yes, Lord. Well, I'm, yes. I'm, I'm just. Yes. I'm talking about me. I mean, y'all, I know mean, y'all had it all figured out. Oh, no, 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 no. Man, if I would have knew then what I know, what I know now. The church, oh, no, no, no. The church, oh, the church, and I ain't gonna lie, I've always been a giver. But learning the true value of value, it ain't what you're giving, it's why. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Cheerful. Because you can give by the heart, mm -hmm. but that's going to be situation. Yeah. When you begin to give from the mind, that's consistency. Mm -hmm. Oh man, my bill's tight, but you know what? I, I can't take it out for tight money. Yeah. Oh, I got to get my coffee, but you know, I got to trust God going to give me this, going to show. Mm -hmm. See, that, that's when you start changing your mindsets. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. However, a lot of us are still based on how my money is looking. Not by how it got to be looking where it came from, for it to be looking the way it's even looking. How many don't fix the income? Everybody. You don't get to change your salary. You might get a little overtime here, or there, or whatever, but you don't get to change your. I mean, unless y'all get to change. Like if you're in sales, it's, that's a whole other. I mean, you know, that's an issue. Yes. And that's based on who God allowed you to connect with. Oh. <laughs> when you go in your court and say, Lord, I really need you to move this week. Yeah. What do you do? He moved. <laughs> See what I'm saying? Yeah. There's still a contract behind the contract. <laughs> so what we have to start learning is what we have doesn't really belong to us at all. Right. Anyway. Right. 
My joy, this ain't mine, it came from the Lord. Yes. He gave it to me. Yes. Huh? Yes, this joy that I had. Uh -huh. Huh? Well, how come we keep letting them robbers do? We keep saying it, running the Lord, and I'm five out of and I'm holding on to him. And as soon as some trouble here, oh, Lord. Oh, I'm all on Facebook, proud. Y'all be proud. Be proud of all Those people don't care what's going on. I'm sorry. I know you just because they sent an emojis right. while they were doing something else. Right. So let's take turn. Right. So let's go to Genesis 28 and 22. Let's go to that for a second. Genesis. Who wrote the book of Genesis? Moses. 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 Amen. Moses wrote a few of the books, first book, didn't he? Thirty-five. They were called two different things. What were they? Pentateuch. Pentateuch. There you go. Thank you, sir. He owned the name. Penta, meaning five. Tuck, meaning scrolls. Right? The other one was called what? The Torah. Hebrew, right? Which meant what? The law. Right? I knew y'all knew this already, but just indulge me if you will. Right? Genesis 28. Let's look at it together. Genesis 28. I gotta come off for a minute. Somebody read it. What does he say? And this stone which I have set for a pillar shall be God's house and all that thou shalt give me, I will surely give the tenth unto thee. Okay. Now this is Jacob making a vow unto who? Uh, the Lord. What I tell you, one of my two scriptures was I'll try to live by. What was the last one? Better to uh -huh. not. How many of you vowed that you were tired? <laughs> <laughs> He's so <laughs> yeah. 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 When you get up in the morning to go to the job, is that your solemn vow to be there five days a week, 40 hours a week? You made a personal commitment that you will do it something. Boy, that's good. You better walk this thing tonight. And if you do, what drives you to do it? Walk it. What drives you to show up on your job? You're retired now. But what drove you to show up on your job every day? Keep it real. Get that money, honey. <laughs> no words no are words. necessary. <laughs> right? But as we begin to grow in God, and I began to understand how much I loved doing God's work. And even before I got where I'm at now, I've always had a love for people. Come on, Reverend. Amen. I've always wanted to help people some way, some form, some help fashion. Somebody. Yes, sir. In some way. Mm -hmm. But when I got on this gravy train called the gospel, <laughs> Lord, who would you have me to honor? You woke me up this morning. You didn't have to. But you did. So if you woke me up, what you want me to do? Who are you trying to send my way? Send somebody. Don't Lord, don't me go all day on him and nobody by my, by my way. Mm -hmm. Now that's a lot to ask for, eh? Yeah. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Wow. That's good. So when I get here on Sunday, I'm full and empty at the same time. Wow. Yeah. And y'all know I can't hold water. I cry hot as soon as it get on me here. I'm going to live a long time. Amen. <laughs> It says men die because we don't cry. Because <laughs> I know what I'm worth when I'm dead. If her lady is not going to spend all that money with a 20 year old man, no. No, sir. I'm waking up. How we do? <laughs> Amen. I'm driven to be the thorn in her side. Amen. <laughs> We're going to ride together, we're going to die together, right? But look what he says. He says, if God will be with me and keep me in this way that I'm going to give me bread to eat and clothing to put on so that I may come back to my father's house in peace, then the Lord shall be my God. My God. He said, and this stone which I have set as a pillar. Why did he use the word pillar? Mm -hmm. 
What does a pillar represent? Ah. Stability. Right? When you go in, you see the White House, and you see these other buildings, they have pillars that represent what? Stability. What are we looking at right here? Move the pillar, you loosen what? The stability. So what stabilizes you? Wow. If tithing is not part of it, can you truly say you are a stable Christian? No. And this is why I tell people, be careful running all over town. Now, there's some witch hunters out there who talk real good, real smooth. They'll sell a tiger stripe and a chicken feather. Right. <laughs> right? They'll tell a snake, man, you ain't crawling, you should be walking. <laughs> right? It is imperative that we, this is why you have to learn this, so that if you move another place, go to another town, move to another city, you don't walk into something not understanding what your true role is. Right. This is what really causes church hurt. Church hurt is because something has happened where you got uneducated to understand what happened to you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. At that time, you could not determine whether it was God or man and what you got in the body. Come on. That's what you start battling with. Yep. Mm -hmm. So if you're not a frequent person of Bible study, Sunday school, getting into the midst of that, Sunday morning is not enough, my brothers and my sisters. Nope. It will never be enough. Here you can say, hold, hold on, Pastor, hold on, wait a minute. Repeat that. <laughs> Where is that in the book? Where? That's right. So that I can understand how to operate when I go to these other places, and then I know who to share with and who to cast my pearls back to me, and I right. give it to them because they right. pigs and swine, and they really don't want to know word; they just want to talk. That's it. That's it. That's See, it. I don't gossip about the gospel. You want to talk about reason with about the gospel? I'm there. But you want to go back and forth about who know more Bible than the other? Uh -huh. That ain't my thing. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't got grandma. So I ain't got time for that, right? Yeah. But look what he says. He says, and the doctor just talked about a covenant. He said, if said a pillar shall be God's house, and, and of all that you give, and of all that you give, and of all that you give me, all that you give, not some, not most, all that you give me, for all you who talk about incidental money. <laughs> well, if I pay my tithe out of my paycheck, but then grandma give me five hundred dollars for my birthday. Should I tie it on it? You're supposed to. Yeah. And all oh. that you give me. This ain't here for y'all at all. Yeah. Y'all yeah. this, this man trying to take all my money from me. I ain't, I ain't giving it to him. God ain't told me that. He ain't shared that with me. I'm just, what the word say, mother? You read it. What it say? Did it say all? All. All. That I, that you give me, I will surely give a tenth. To you. Mm -hmm. Now, let me help you all who, who fell off the <laughs> let me help y'all who all fell off the Creflo Dollar personal plane. Oh Lord. There's a such thing called play on words. People say one thing, really saying the same thing without saying one thing. This is my mind frame, mind frame of thinking. If anybody's coming off of anywhere into something, they need somewhere to start. Right. Correct? Right. So to me, a tenth just means that's where you should start. That's the starting point. Because if I don't have a area to work in, mm -hmm. what happens? If, if I go, Doc advise at a college, if I go there and Doc says, well, you're required to pass at least 80% of your class. I walk in there and do 20% and say, man, what am I grade at? <laughs> right? If it's left up to me, right? So there is a, what do you call it, benchmark? Bench, benchmark, bare minimum. Bare minimum. <laughs> so I know through this, at least a tenth of what I do should be back to God. Right. Now, do I have to stay there? No. no. Where the Bible says I have to stay there? Nowhere. And let me ask you this. If I'm growing in God and gaining an access, and elevating in title, should I even be there? What I say, Jerry? Mm -hmm. Thank God. Tell him, Doc. He tells all. What I say, Tish? 
<laughs> you will not come in here. He told us. Dance around in him like you're all in the bag of chips. Yeah. Right. And I got folk in the bag. And it's not a dollar cap. Let me help you. No. But the last people I should continue to have to have conversations about your giving exactly. is those in leadership. Mm -hmm. Is that, is, am I wrong with that? No, no, tell sir. me if I'm wrong. No, no you're not wrong. wrong. Yeah. And yeah. if you're going through a situation that is affecting what you can do, <laughs> what should you do? Go speak when you and first lady. The Bible says come to the elders, right? Yes, yes, sir. I should have to figure it out four revivals later. That's right. Stop. That you've been sleeping in a hotel or in your car. Oh, that's mm -hmm. right. Does that make sense? No, the Spirit of God should have led you. We've had that before. I've had people mm -hmm. come and, and Pastor didn't call me up and I was going through. What? <laughs> I'm not God. And God will hide stuff on me, from me, so he can get to you to come to me. <laughs> and we got to make sure we reminded our friends and family just because we are in tune with the Spirit of God does not mean it means we to be in your business all the time. Right. That's true. Because let's, let's be honest. Sometimes we get to fear and hearing from God. Next thing you know, Jamie, you're all in your sister business all the time. God ain't told you that. He's yeah. Some things he just wants you to see. Yeah. And some things he wants you to deal with. Same with our children and our grandchildren, mother. Yeah. The, 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 the goodness in us says, ooh, I'm going to make sure my baby's got everything. No. <laughs> Because when mama gone, and ain't no if but when, yeah. Yeah. now what they got? Yeah. Yeah. Mm. You know how many families are destroyed because they were leaning on the matriarch or the patriarch of the family? Yeah. Yeah. That person moves on, and now the family is in disarray. Brothers don't talk to sisters, sisters don't talk to brothers. Everybody all up. Say it again. And God forbid if she had any form of a soul of a policy. Hmm. What happens at the food of up? The food of up. They all in the casket, take me, Lord, all that kind of stuff. When in reality, there's two kind of people that I call <coughs> homegoers. Dumb that remember and dumb that regret. Yep. It is pondered upon us to make sure we're remembering what God is setting us up to do, to make sure that our giving is not just because grandma did. Yeah, right. mm -hmm. See, grandma was on blind faith. She had a fourth grade education, so she just lived on whatever she got from pastor there. She put it to work the best way she could. She put that little $2 in the, in the, in the little envelope, stuck it out the door for the insurance man. Yeah. Am I making sense? Yeah. Right? So, yeah, she paid 10 times what the policy was, but that wasn't the point. Mm -hmm. You didn't have to figure out how to bear her. Yeah, right. Mm -hmm. Don't say, oh, man. Now we got insurance on our phones, cars, yeah. and we talking about a new GoFundMe. Let me bring my auntie. What? What? <laughs> <laughs> but I'm a chief deacon and a priest deacon. I'm not gonna listen. I got that going. Cheap deacon. Cheap. Wow. So look what he said. He said you should surely give me a tip. So my first point is. Tithing is sincere. Right? Why should we be sincere in what we're doing? Why? Why should we be sincere in our tithing? We talked about it is what? Based on what? Value, right? Value. So why should I be sincere in there? What does it mean to be sincere? What does that mean? From the heart, like you really mean it. Genuine. 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 Well, I could genuinely be me. <laughs> wow. Me could be a hot mess. <laughs> what does it mean to be sincere? Man, yeah. what's the definition? Give it to me. Of sincere. Yeah. Yeah. Sincere means to be what? Free from pretense, or receiving from genuine feelings, and saying what they genuinely feel or believe, not dishonest or hypocritical. Not dishonest or what? <laughs> Ooh. That's good. Now, what does it mean to be hypocritical? What does that mean, anybody? <laughs> you tell someone else not to do something that you do. Or, or you're judging them. Or, it's something that I don't do, that I say I'm doing. Oh, yeah, either one. Like, you know, they're either vice versa. Huh? Yeah. I'm all over here, it's just the problem, money. 
And I don't tie it at all. <laughs> this make sense? Yes, sir. Yes. Yes. Right. Why do we have to be sincere? What, what, is, what, is a, what is a component to being sincere? What does that do for God if we're sincere? Y'all have been tonight, and I can't go on top of my mouth. But don't we want him to be sincere back with us? Like, we have to be from the heart, so he will be. He's always sincere. <laughs> Is he not? Yeah. He said, God's not a lie. So God yeah. don't hypocrite. God don't come back and say, well, that's not what I meant. Right? 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 Let's do this. We've been on this before, but I want y'all just to indulge me. Three levels of giving. Y'all remember? Yeah. Sacrifice. Let's talk about the first one. What's the first one? Obedience. Oh, sacrifice. Sacrifice. Right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Why is that important? That means I'm at least willing to do it. Yes. <laughs> right? I'm at least willing to do it. <clears throat> now the key is, am I willing to do it on a regular basis? When I talk about situation versus salvation, Salvation is a term if you desire. Salvation should not be based on how you feel today. Or if my mama died and going on and I don't know how to cope. Mm. Or if my husband left me and, and you know I don't know where to start, so I don't want to be saved anymore. Wow. Y'all don't think people go through that? People think like that, yeah. Mm. Or something happened to me when I was a child and I just I just can't do this God thing. Why am I telling y'all that? Because I want to make sure, guys, we're prepared for people who are coming through these doors. We got to be conduits. We got to be people that can relate, that can say, listen, I, I hear what you're saying. I'm not watering down what you're going through. I'm just here to tell you that if you did it for me, my sister, my brother, I truly believe he can do it for you. Come on, my right. Let's do this together. Is that not godly? Yeah. yeah. And I don't mean hypocritically, because I'm a pastor saying Satan, so I don't know what to No, no, no. Oh, my God. <laughs> Sacrifice, it means I'm at least willing to come to the place where I'm supposed to give and give. Mm -hmm. But is that enough? Mm -mm. Second, obedience. Obedience. Right? Mm -hmm. Now, obedience says that I'm willing to do it even if I don't want to. What do you mean? Mama tells little man, I need you to go clean your room. <laughs> Talk about him. Talk about my baby. He went to clean his room, right? Talk about But did he do it? No. At a level of excellence? No, sir. And let's say it was spotless. <laughs> what was wrong with him? He wasn't sure. Say again, mother. Attitude. attitude. <laughs> What's your attitude when the basket come up, child? Yeah. <laughs> huh? We had a person here one time, she was a member. She said the Lord told her one time, I need you to get $500. I remember that. Yeah. <laughs> she got him said this with a home bill. Said she didn't do it. <laughs> Went to a restaurant somewhere and somebody slammed into a car and left. And guess what other doctor was? $500. <laughs> yes. 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 Now, here's the kicker. She still never did get it. <laughs> Why do we battle with those things? Has God ever told you to go outside your normal giving? Yes. Y'all not raising really hands. No. Yeah. Did you fall it through? And yes. if you didn't, I want to know why not. Somebody help me. Well, I fall through. Yeah. Sometimes. 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 When you didn't, why didn't you? I got scared. What do you mean? Explain. I got felt like, oh, like if I had this electric bill for 50 and he was asking me to get 50 and then I was afraid I was going to pay for the electric bill. You ever been in with your lights off before? Yeah. No. Never? You never had your lights off growing up? Never? never? Oh, I mean my mom and stuff yeah. growing up. So how'd you, how'd it, how'd it work out with the lights off? I mean, I live. Did you lose? I mean, did you lose consciousness? Did you lose weight? Or no. did, you, did you not make it to the next day? Did, did your hair fall out? No. Did, you, did you break out of hives? No. Can we really be honest? Yeah. How many times have we gone through struggles, didn't make no big deal about it, 
But then as soon as we know we're supposed to do something for the Lord, all of a sudden now the priorities get changed. Wow. That's the sign of the enemy. Right. Yeah. Yes, I'm done. This wasn't about money, but um, God led me to pray for somebody. He was like, pray for this person. Yeah. Um, and then I prayed for them. <laughs> but then I, I, I was obedient. Yeah. obedient. Yeah. I prayed for them. They don't know nothing about it. And after that, something happened where they're able to tell me a situation that they were in, but it could have been worse. And if I hadn't prayed, what would have happened? Right, right. He said, if fervent prayers of the righteous make available the grace. Because that's what ended up happening, right? Grace stepped in, right? Yes. Yes, I was going to say, uh, when you asked that question, I no, I don't play with that. When God say do it, I do it. Because there's never been a time that I've given what God told me to do and I didn't get it back immediately, double fold. So what would happen to the Sundays God don't want to let tell you about it? Still do it. <laughs> so you say. <laughs> he should get the book. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't tell me that today. Uh, sound like a pass to me. Hey, I'm all right. Oh, you know, I was looking at them dress shoes and, them, and I really need to go and grab them, boy. <laughs> Right, they only got two pair left. It said on the internet, only two oh, pair left. No. Oh, it's my God. Oh, my God. It's not going to be no And we don't stand to the bed. Yeah. 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 That's, 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 that's a suit Taylor made now. They got the French cut. <laughs> God know my heart now. He, he know what my temptations are. Why would he allow me to see this on the website and not want me to indulge? Wow. Um. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, yeah, we manipulate that up. The last one, which is my favorite, honor. is honor. Yeah. What does that mean in giving? Yeah. Hmm? Yeah. Honor is all this rolled up into one. Who do you honor? Because if you honor God, you can't help but sacrifice and be obedient. Yeah, that's true. And when you're not, it convicts you and you want to get back to where you were. Am I doing myself? Yes. No, that's sir. True. You want to get back to where you were. That is right. Yes. So the question of the night is, where your honor at? Wow. Quit surrounding your honor of what you do, tithing, and in more than money, around people. I don't like what she said to me, so you know what? 10% to everybody else, 5%, 2%, girl, I ain't even giving this week. Oh, no. <laughs> Why did he? I'll show him. And what you did was really put yourself in a hole. You I tell people this all the time, to include the man with the microphone, ain't nobody irreplaceable. That's right. Amen. Not one person Amen. under the sun. That's right. Mm -hmm. Vice president, president Dowdy got a vice president. Vice president Dowdy got to speak of the house. They, they got stuff set up now. Everybody, somebody can replace somebody. Maybe not at the level. Right. Good. But, but there. each and every one can be replaced. Can we not? Yes. Huh? Yes. Mm -hmm. So that's why you must do your best and you do your due diligence to be the tithing woman, uh, wife you're supposed to be, to be the tithing husband you're supposed to be, the tithing parent you're supposed to be, the tithing child, sibling. Co-worker, you're supposed to be. Help somebody, Reverend. Yeah. Get past this here. Get right here. That's based on the perception of who holds it. Wow. The dollar was a dollar today. What is it tomorrow morning? Nine o'clock. You got to wait to find out. According to the stock exchange. Yep. Yes. I was gonna say when I I wasn't raised in the church, so when I first started going to church, the Church of God in Christ is where we learned. Yes, sir. So we were taught, okay, uh, a lot about tithing and giving and sacrificing. But one of the things that I always remember is my husband he wasn't he was not tithing when I first started. And I was we were always taught the head of the household 
need to tithe to bless your household. Mm -hmm. So it wasn't, and I was trying to talk <coughs> him into tithing. He's like, that's your money. Oh. That it, this ain't mine. Wow. And this, this, this is my money. And this. So he was finding himself broke all the time. <laughs> <laughs> I had the message. <laughs> so he was, um, one of the Sunday school kids was like, he, he was saying, man, I'm broke. He was talking like, and one of the guys was like, pay your tax. <laughs> no, it was the kid the kid was like probably in junior high, you know. <laughs> but he yeah, he knew that he was paying. Yeah. So yeah. people sometimes think they can hide or you know, whatever and they ain't paying and they think that not that you should care what people know or think about right. your giving or whatever, but it is especially when you're a leader. So so anyway, back to the story. I once my husband started tithing and giving offering and giving out of his heart. It truly blessed our household. Mm -hmm. It did not start until the head of the household mm -hmm. start truly mm -hmm. giving. We God has gotten us out of so many things that we probably got ourselves in, and some other other things that mm -hmm. unseen and unknown. Yeah. But I'm afraid not to give. I, some people are afraid to give. I'm afraid not to give. Yeah. I can't afford not to give. Sacrifice revolves around the woman with the issue of blood. Yeah. Right? <laughs> she gave, they said, oh. to doctor after doctor oh. after doctor. Yeah. Obedience. Talks about the man who walked in and dropped a hundred dollar bill and later gave the quarter. Mm -hmm. And Jesus said the one with the quarter had more. Value. Mm -hmm. She had more value. The Lord gave his life. Mm -hmm. <coughs> That's good right now. Sound like honor to me. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's good right now. That's Are you willing to kill away what don't belong? So you can come in this door at least one Sunday and smile and say, Sis, it's so good to see you. That's, that's tired, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. How many ask God for great? Okay. Second question. What you doing with it? Because we're still hanging on to it. Why did you ask it for it? This is the kind of church we are. And we can't be nothing less. Mm. And to be uncomfortable is good. Help somebody. Room for the Holy Ghost. <laughs> and we will not continue to have people come here and not be valued. Right. Can't happen here. I don't care if it's just me and the wife and the kids sit here and folk come in on right and everybody go. Whoever comes in will and must be valued. Help somebody, Reverend. That's awesome. Because you never know who breakthrough right. gonna happen. Mm -hmm. They, there was a story that talked about a guy who was coming to visit a church and he looked very depleted and dirty and all that. And he would come, he would sit in the back, and nobody would speak to him because he was dirty and smelled a little bit. Da 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 da. Fast forward. Found out the guy was actually a millionaire. Wanted to see how people would treat him. Wound up at one little small hole in the wall church where they just loved him, gave him soup, offered him clothes place to get a hot shower. The man came back sometime later, had shaved his beard, and got his hair done, and had on his suit, walked in, asked the pastor, could he speak? Told him who he was. <coughs> a check for God knows you know what. My God. My God. It wasn't about the money. What was it about? Yeah. How many of God's millionaires God sent it in here? In the spirit world who may not have the dollar, but got the dollar mindset. Pastor, you need to come early, I'm your guy. I'm your lady. You need me to stay late, I'm your guy. I'm your lady. Pastor, I ain't got but two rows of toilet paper, but I want to get a church one of them. You better help somebody, Reverend. That's what tithing is really about. It's 
So we just read on one scripture tonight. We need to go to the other two. Before we make the other two the next two weeks. That'd be good. Amen. 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 Anybody want to add tonight? Anybody want to bring in some, something that just we all can learn from? Anybody want to share? I, I want to say one thing. Um, I have to report now. I was at the nail shop. <laughs> I just want to say and um, this very nice looking gentleman was there and he got a pedicure and he got a nail and he, I mean, a whatever manicure. And he went to pay and the, he said, how much is it? And the lady said, $52. And he gave her 120 and said, keep it. And when I saw that, I was like, Lord, I want to do that. I want to be able to do that. Yeah. I want to give. It, the, yeah. He tipped more than the belly. Mm. I love that. Did you look to see if he had a ring on his belly? I asked him about it. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you have not been your last time. You know what I'm saying? That might have been your blessing from you. Ain't no wrong with you. I'm just asking. What's up? Uh, I was wondering about the money. It was about who value somebody that. Now, if he do that for a woman he don't have, what would he do for the one on his own? Y'all ain't catching nothing. No, I caught that. Amen. Wow, that was good. Y'all hang around me. Mother Smith, she take out. Check on time. Every month. <laughs> Anyone else tonight before we close? Look, yes. You talking about the uh, value. I share with you some of the like, work, but it happened to me. Like, uh, a lady came to drive. She was like, I don't have my money. Whatever. You know, she forgot. Yeah, right, right. She came to the I wasn't thinking nothing about that. No, don't, don't, don't worry about it. I'll take care of it. She went away. The next time I know her. Uh, Exactly what they said they're gonna do. Yeah. Without right. saying they're gonna do it. 
That's true. But us as believers have to have a nucleus and a stronghold of folk that we can get with and say, look, sis, I, I want to say love. And you say, man, I hear you, but we need you. Right. I need you back in the game. I need you back in the fight. Because the world don't stop spinning for nobody. And that's the only thing you can't get back. It's time. That's why I tell my youth department, all my kids in high school, whatever they got going, don't bother them. No, I want them to experience every bit of high school because that's the only thing you can't go back to. Mm -hmm. You can go back to college, mm -hmm. but you can't go back to high school. You go back on the camera, they'll call people on you. <laughs> <laughs> Amen? Yeah. So let these kids go through experience and have all those times with the, you know that's why we teach them here so they're not to act when they go there does that make sense right. yeah. amen all hearts and minds are clear anything tonight before we close this was good tonight river yeah. amen. Mm -hmm. amen 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 it really is and, yes ma'am you know like um where we came from in connecticut you know it's just like um everybody uh teaches about tithing in the churches they do they teach you about that but um it took me a while for me to get there to the point where i am right now i i just thank god for blessing me to be able to do that you know and what we need to do is to continue to thank him for all and we could never thank him for all that he does for us all Amen. the time but uh the tithing it is so interesting because a lot of people do not really get it. They just don't get it. And <clears throat> I remember years ago when I when I did, I, I made the money for real. I made the money <laughs> in Connecticut. And back then, I'm telling you, we worked around the clock, overtime, overtime, overtime. And um, the money, and I was like um, giving like um, fifty dollars. <laughs> after all that money that I was making and it was like fifty dollars and I thought that that was a lot of money to be given to the church. And I just um I don't know why it happened like this, but this was before I met Robert a long time ago. I mean like we had like the oil and you know how cold it gets in Connecticut. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah. So um my oil was gonna go out. Mm. And back then, you know how we got the, the debit cards and all of that. Right. We didn't, we didn't have, have access yeah. to none of no. that back then. And so I had like, um, the guy told me downstairs, he said, Dorothy, he said, you need to get some oil because your oil tank is on empty. It was on a Friday afternoon. So I was like, call, the oil guy, <coughs> I won't never forget it, Mr. Wheeler. He was the one that did the oil, mm -hmm. and he told me, I called him, and I said that, can I get the oil? Can you just give me like $50 worth of oil <coughs> so that um, I can give you the money on Monday? I said, I promise you, because they right. knew that we couldn't go to the bank or right. nothing like that. We didn't have no debit cards. So he told me, he said, I'm sorry, Dorothy, but you got to get the $50 if you want to get some oil. You want to get some oil. <laughs> he said, Ain't no credit. I can't do it like that. I said, well, I'll give you the money. I promise you I'll give you the money. And I was like, I, I just didn't know, like, what am I going to do? You know, I got three mm -hmm. kids. I said, what am I going to do? Because wow. it's too cold to right. be running out of oil. And I said, the only thing I could do is probably just, um, take my kids and we could go and stay with one of my aunts or something for the right. weekend because I, I, yeah. I had to stay here. So doing that, I had to go downstairs and wash some clothes. I don't know where it came from. Jesus. I opened up, I took my jeans and I started to wash them, you know, take yeah. everything out of the pocket. There was a $50 bill in there. No. I don't care what nobody say until I die. That was nobody but God. Yes. Nobody but God. Yes. And it was yes. a $50 bill in my jean pocket that evening. Mm, wow. I just, I, I, I couldn't wow. 
do nothing but just say thank you, Lord. Right. Yes. And from then on, I'm not kidding you. Right. I started tithing. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. For real, God has blessed us yes. over yes. and over and yes. over again. Yes. You know, like yes. I just keep on saying that. I won't never forget that God. Yes. Right. Same that, yesterday, right today, and forevermore. Right there, I'm not yeah. Why was it $50? I'm that's just telling you because that's all I need. Right. Right. That's right. right. But I was so What is this you and the Lord have? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Could have gave you a hundred, but you know I'm gonna hit it right where she's gonna remember. And, and Mr. Uh, and Mr. Wheeler, I, I said that as soon as I get um back that Monday, I was gonna drop him because I said that in a time like yeah. that you would think. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 but wait a minute, wait a minute. He said all things work yeah. together. Yeah. Had he not denied you, right. you wouldn't have went downstairs to wash. And well, I wouldn't, I and you wouldn't. It all worked together for the good of those who love us. Come on, team. Amen. I'm going to believe God is moving tonight. Yes, if you'd like to sow into what you've heard tonight and believe that God is yeah. going to give you greater. We are going to uh, suspend communion this Sunday to second Sunday because it's bad. we're doing a Veterans Day service. And so that could be a little longer than I would want to add communion in the back of it. So um, instead, we will... Uh, uh, suspended to second Sunday. Second Sunday. Amen? Amen. He said as, as often as you do, right? He didn't say it had to be first Sunday. All right? Amen. 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 We are proud to have... And ma'am, I didn't get your name. Are you visiting uh, from someone here or... Oh, that is so, so awesome. Amen. Please don't leave because I want to see you for your day. Can you give me a couple minutes? Yeah, yeah I want to talk to you for your day. See, I got it. We do want to welcome our new member, one of our new members tonight. Well, she's been coming. I ain't even been here. <laughs> That's all I heard. <laughs> Amen. God is doing a great thing, and, and God is doing and, and so we will have new members class in January. So if you're willing to get through the holidays and do what we got to do, we're actually... Uh, kind of in and out the rest of the, the, the season. So I don't want to start it and stop it. But we're going to bring you in in January. In the meantime, though, Sister Jamie does have you. Have you put your group yet? Yeah. Yeah. All right, awesome. And if there's anything you need, any of these ladies will be more than available. Amen? Amen. Okay, to help you wherever we can. We welcome you to the map. All right, let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you tonight for this love offering, God, this gift of sacrifice, obedience, and honor. We ask that you would cover us in every space of the word. God, we ask that the most that give, God, that you would just continue to give their hearts the desire to keep giving. So, God, we thank you and go into the grace of our God, the love of Jesus Christ, the sweet communion of the Holy Spirit. May I rule the and rest rule and abide henceforth now and forevermore as we walk by faith, never by our own sight. Give the glory, the honor, the thanks, and the praise. And we all say together, amen, amen, amen. 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 Love somebody before you leave. We welcome you, Mount Zion Tabernacle Christian Church. We right. have myself, my beautiful first lady, Tamika Bird, the Mount Zion Tabernacle Christian family. He will take care of you. God bless you tonight. Yeah. Better. I heard you over there. I said, wait a minute, wait a minute.